is Jessica, the Ferrari Family Coach. We are live, so please bear with me because this is live. I am going to try to do something live <laughs> with an animal. Ooh, okay, so in the description of this video, I said, don't teach, a leave it. And that may be very counterintuitive to a lot of people. So I want to explain. We definitely want to teach our dogs, but the leave it cue isn't the best way to get your dog to drop something. Um, it is so much easier to teach our dogs to do something than to not do something. So if we don't want them picking something up, we need to offer them something else, right? So that they can take something else that is of higher value to them. something that they shouldn't have right and you do want them to drop it or leave it the best thing to do is have taught your dog how to trade so that you can exchange that item you don't want your dog to have for something that they can have so teach them how teach them a trade cue so I'm going to show you kind of how we start out uh, teaching a trade cue so I've got a toy here, and I'm so sorry. I know I see some people joining me live, so I definitely want to say hi. Thank you so much for being here with me live today. Um, post in the, the, the comments, um, you know, that you're here, where you're from. Uh, I'd love to know who's who's watching with me today. And if you're if you're watching live, if you're watching this as a replay, go ahead and post in the comments as well. Uh, or even if, if you're watching this on a different social media platform, post in the comments. Let me know you're here. Let me know how this helps you. Uh, because it can be kind of counterintuitive to say don't teach a leave it cue, right? We definitely want our dogs to be able to leave something and drop it. But it's better to teach our dogs to do something than not to do something. It's so much easier. So let, we're going to teach a trade. So I'm going to give Kim something. This is just a, a toy of hers. So I'm going to say, here you go. Okay, okay. You want to take your toy? You want to take your toy? No. She knows I have treats. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to give our dog an item, right? And, and something that isn't particularly high value to them, but something that they do like. So let me try another one. You take it. You take it. Here you go. Here you go. I'm gonna try to get her to take it when she knows I have treats in my hand. Here you go. She wants the treats more, and we're gonna use the treats to help train the trade cue. So let me back up a little bit and see if I can. It is a two-handed procedure. Here you go. Here you go. We take it. We take it. Here you go. Don't ever force your dog to take something. Um, I was actually reading online not too long ago. Somebody was like trying to physically push something in their dog's mouth. It's really, I mean, it's really not the best way to go about doing things. Um, you're you're going to wind up making your dog not love what you're doing and not love training, and that's not what we want. So basically, let me let me just let me turn it this way. Here we go. Here we go. So the idea is we get our dog to take something, something that isn't a particularly high value to our dog. You go. She knows she can smell the treats in my hand. That's the problem. Okay. Did you take it? No, you don't want it because you want the treats. So we get our dog to take something. Say she, she has um, one of these squeaker toys. We get our dog to take it. And what we do is when your dog has something in their mouth, take it, we take it. We let them smell a treat. They can't take the treat and keep the other object in their mouth. So in order to take the treat, she's going to have to drop the toy. And while she drops the toy, I'm going to give her the, the treat, I'm going to take the toy, and I'm going to put it behind my back. Okay? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Good job. After a few seconds and she's finished eating her treat, I actually ha I re I got really high value treats out for this, which may have been a mistake because I got some beef liver. And she absolutely, I'm sorry, some beef heart. 
and she absolutely loves her B part. So I think I got a, a, a too high of a value treat for her. It's so much higher value than her toy. She's not wanting to take her toy. Here you go, take it, take it. See if I can make it more enticing. There you go, there you go. You take it, you take it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, once your dog takes the toy back again, we're gonna again, offer a treat. Now remember, they can't take the treat and keep the item in their mouth at the same time. So once they drop the item to take the treat, say yes to mark it and hide the toy or the item behind your back. So this really is like a two-handed two operation. Once she's done, or once your dog is done uh, eating the treat, then we offer the toy back to them. So what we're doing is saying, we're letting them know that just because they're trading with us and they're they're giving up something that doesn't necessarily mean that they're never going to get it back and in certain situations they may never get it back but we don't want them to know that right we want them to know that just because they give us something doesn't mean they can never have it again we want them to know that this this is this is something fair that we're doing with them <laughs> sorry sweetie no this is going to be fair if they want their toy they can have their toy back and we will give it back to them as long as they are cooperating and doing what we're asking them to do. So once your dog, once your dog is doing really well at dropping whatever it is you're using and taking the treat, yes. And we're using that yes marker to let her know that when she drops the toy, that's exactly what we want her to do. And when she does take the treat, we're gonna take the toy and hide it behind her back. So what we're going to do once she gets really, really good at this, and again, my treat value is just too high right now, and unfortunately this is a live video. <laughs> um, but what we're gonna do is, once she gets really good at it, we're gonna have her take a toy, let's switch out toys. Let's see, and take it. No, you wanna take it? So once we have her, once she has a toy, we're going to present the treat and say trade. Trade, good job. And we're again gonna take the toy and put it behind our back. So we're gonna start introducing that trade cue. And then once she's done eating the treat, we'll let her have the toy back so we can continue training. But this is what we're doing. We're basically saying, you have this in your mouth, I'm gonna offer you something of higher value, so you have to drop this in order to take this. Yes, good job. And we're gonna use the marker, some people will like to use a clicker, so you can use a clicker as a marker. When, as, as soon as she drops the toy, we're gonna say trade, or we're gonna use the clicker, and as she gets really good at it, we're going to say trade before she drops the toy, and then reward with whatever it is we're trading for. So having your dog learn the trade cue is so much better than treat, you did such a good girl, than teaching a leave it cue because as I was saying before, it is so much easier to teach our dogs to do something than not to do something. So if your dog, it's really important to, to practice this and I'm gonna practice this. Um, we can do this on another video with a trait that's maybe not quite high, as high a value. Um, to your dog, <laughs> uh, or to my dog, because you're being such a good girl, you're being too good. Yeah, you're being too good. So, it's so much easier to teach your dog to do something than not to do something. So teaching a trade is gonna be so much better than teaching a leave it cue. So that's what I like to do instead of a leave it, is teaching a trade cue. Um, so that's basically how we do it, how we teach a trade cue. It's really gonna be, amazing once your dog has learned the trade cue and you actually get into a situation where your dog picks something up with their mouth and they're not supposed to have it and you're like oh my gosh what do i do instead of panicking and running around and trying to snag it out of their mouth you know you have that trade cue in your back pocket and you're going to be able to grab a high value a reward like a high value treat and trade your dog for whatever it is they have in their mouth um one thing i do want to mention if your dog is prone to grabbing something, like if you were to offer your dog something, if they're prone to grabbing it from you and running away, 
One thing you can do to make this training go easier is to actually put their harness and leash on them and attach their leash to you so they can't get but so far away from you so that you can make this training a little bit easier. Um, and before I go, I can't believe I didn't mention this already, but before I go, I do want to mention to you, if you don't already have it, grab your copy of Seven Miracle Steps. You can get a digital copy, you can get a paperback copy. Paperback copies are very limited. Um, I just put in an order for some more copies, but they are quite limited. Um, so go ahead, if you do want your paperback copy, get your order in ASAP because I may run out again. <laughs> um, I put a link in the description. Definitely grab your copy. If you're a new pet parent, if you've been a pet parent for a really long time, but you think you can do better, you know you can do better, this book is going to be a godsend for you. So go ahead and grab your copy. I put a link in the description. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those um, in the comment section as well. I'd love to hear them. And maybe if you have a question, my next video will answer it for you. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching with me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if it helped you, please let me know in the comments. If there's somebody you think it can help, go ahead and share this with them. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, so let's get out there and help your dog. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.